Hi folks and welcome back to another very quick video. I just wanted to share with you this um, sort of uh, conundrum that's sort of been uh, vexing me so to speak. I don't know if you've seen, you guys have seen these um, Transformers um, on eBay. These, these are Palmeco Transformers and uh, I got a load of these from the stash of um, of sort of aircraft and uh, vintage aircraft equipment, avionics and things, which I've been pulling apart or gradually tearing down. And a lot of them had these Palmeco transformers. Now these these are sort of very fairly vintage things and pretty. I would say they're they're very high quality. They're oil filled, and you know if you look on eBay, some of the audio files are sort of selling these for you know quite a lot of money actually. Anyway, this one came out of, I don't know, black box or something. Um, I think it was what's called a leak detector tester or something like that. Very old piece of, of um, vintage tech. And as you can see there, um, it's rated 175 uh, 175 at 30 milliamps. Now, to me, this transformer, given the size of it, uh, I would have thought it'd be capable of, you know, handling quite a bit more current than that. And I, I, I have um, pre experience of previous transformers like this, and I believe they are sort of quite substantially underrated. And I, I guess that figure of 30 milli milliamps probably re probably is sort of, uh, you know, continuous uh, duty within the voltage will be within spec. Uh, so anyway, um, what we're going to do here is just rig up the little test rig. I've got the transformer, I've got the measure, I'm measuring the voltage across it. And we've got some, I've got a load of a couple of uh, chunky 2K resistors. So we've got in total 4K as a load, of, you know, they're quite high in wattage. And we're going to measure the current as well, going through those um, and see what sort of current this thing can handle, you know, before it starts to get uh, uh, warm. So let's just see if I can turn this on and crank up the voltage and see what happens. So it'll start off quite low. Might help if I turn it on. It is on there. Okay. So I'll crank the voltage up on this. At the moment we got 37 volts. And 13.9, 14 milliamps, it will go up. Take it up a bit higher. So we've pretty well got full mains voltage on there now. 312, 313 volts. Now I guess if this was, a, you know, we were loading it, it would probably be about 350 odd volts, maybe a bit more. Uh, obviously it's under load and the current is 77 milliamps, which is way more than 30 milliamps. And I'm going to leave this on for a, a few minutes. You have to be careful here because there's obviously lots of voltages around. But that... That transformer there isn't even, it's stone cold and that is way over its rating. Now I tried this test before actually and I did leave the transformer on for a, quite a few minutes but it didn't even break sweat. So I think, uh, you know, if you're prepared for the slight voltage drop, which once you rectify this and filter, you'll, you'll get a few more volts out of it, you know, this transformer uh, would be quite capable of, you know, being a sort of main HT transformer for, uh, you know, quite a nice audio amp. Um, I'll certainly do a pair of EL34s uh, without a problem, I believe. Well, that's what I reckon. Certainly okay for EL84s, you know, push-pull amplifier, something like that. And also... Also would be good for you know as an HD transformer in a in a ham radio transmitter. So I think I got a few of these and I was a bit of a lucky find really because these sort of high quality transformers, you know, they're not easy to find. They do go for us do go for quite a lot of money. So anyway, keep your eyes open for those Palmeco transformers, and if you get and if you see one, uh, snap it up. 
because they are uh, very high quality and uh, very good. Anyway, that's it. And hope to catch you again soon.